Good morning. I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you, and I'm going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. You know, I'm uh, working on a book uh, that uh, should be finished here uh, by the end of the summer, early in the uh, fall, on uh, why businesses have been moving to Texas. It's a phenomenal story, and uh, part of that is uh, me doing some interviews with people like our guest this segment uh, that is going to be a part of that story. And so I've been looking forward to this. David Gilbert, he's with National Funding, that website nationalfunding.com, and uh, he's going to talk about what uh, made uh, Houston and the Dallas area attractive to him, and uh, as well as tell us a little bit about his business. David, welcome to the program. Hey, good morning. David, tell us a little bit about national funding. Uh, kind of give us a uh, timeline, if you will, a panoramic overview of its history. Uh, national funding has been in business for 16 years, uh, started in 99. Uh, we're based out of San Diego, California. Uh, we finance small businesses all throughout the country. Uh, we primarily help finance them through uh, short-term working capital loans. Uh, we help finance equipment for them. We handle merchant processing uh, for their credit cards and a few other um, uh, products. How long have you been operating in Texas? Uh, we've been financing uh, in Texas you know, since 99. Um, we've probably deployed over $100 million to small businesses there. Uh, to help uh, fund uh, a lot of their initiatives. So, okay. Um, recently, this past year, I think we've deployed about twenty million, and and that money is used primarily to help uh, on their working capital needs. But uh, how many states do you operate in? Uh, we operate in all fifty. Uh, Texas is our second largest state. Uh, it's a state that we uh, see tremendous growth opportunity. Our portfolio performs extremely well there. And our average deal size is higher than most states, uh, which is a testament to the strength of that uh, state's economy and their ability to, um, to to handle growth. Okay. What is it, uh, you know, from talking to your clients, do you have clients in Texas who have come from other part of the country to get to Texas to do business? Yeah, you know, we handle help. We we do help finance people's moves, um, whether they're moving from one state to another or interstate. Uh, people come to us to borrow capital uh, to you know buy equipment for their new plant, uh, to help buy trucks and trailers to help for their transportation. Um, so we we do see those types of opportunities, and and we'll help finance that for them. Mm-hmm. And uh, when they when they do make that move, uh, is that pretty? Have, have you seen that often, or is that isolated? Uh, what, you know, and particularly when it came to Texas, and 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 what's the sense of of a business you talk to about a desire of moving into Texas, if not entirely, uh, you know, as a form of expansion? You know, from Cal, you know, we operate in California, so we see lots of businesses leaving our state, and they move to a variety of states. And Texas is one of them. Um, you know, state income tax not not being there and being from California, where uh, we're the one one of the highest in the uh, country. Uh, we see people move a lot for tax benefits uh, to Texas. We see people uh, moving there uh, because there's great human capital, a lot of good uh, you know people that can can help fund their factories or their work. Uh, and we see that not only from California but from other states. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, w- when you when you look at uh, you know the Texas environment, and you compare it to other states out there. So um, if, let me. I'm, I'm curious if the environment itself plays a role in in whether or not you fund a certain place. You know, if a state is more uh, hostile not only to you but to businesses itself, therefore undermining its chances of success. You know, does that play a role in, in how you uh, look at the situation? Or, you know, talk a little bit about that. Well, there's definitely business-friendly states out there, and there are certain states that aren't as business-friendly. Uh, uh, Texas is a very welcoming state. Uh, it's a state of uh, complete opportunity, and you see that in our portfolio. Um, when we lend money, uh, a lot of our lending has to do with the industry that the business is in, as well as the region. Uh, there are a lot of regions in the U.S. that aren't as successful uh, as others. And, you know, when we look at our portfolio in Texas, it has probably one of the lowest delinquency rates out there. And so it's a great, you know, region for us to fund. And and we do look at that. You know, when you look at some of the other states out there that are being hindered by, you know, certain industry issues uh, or weather-related issues, you know, it can really harm uh, the ability for business to operate or to grow. Yeah. And, and we well, don't see that in Texas. Let me ask you. Um, 
Let me ask you, when you look, you know, look at, at uh, various states, wh- which ones would you rank among the, the five business friendliest uh, based on your engagement with your customers? Uh, we see a lot of opportunity you know, in Colorado. We've seen a decent amount of people move into Colorado. Uh, we definitely see Texas. Um, you know, we're starting to see some people move into New York. Uh, New York's done a lot of work in PR to get people to move there with tax incentives. Um, Which, by the way, those who said are temporary and are only as good as what Texas normal rights are. I find that humorous. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you just you know, there's a lot of you know, certain states do spend quite a bit marketing um, on the on the television to help bring people over. Uh, Michigan spent a tremendous amount of money over the last five years trying to bring um, companies over. And they've done serious things to make people want to come over there. It went from 48 or 49 in logistics to the top 25 in logistics. It went from a closed union shop state to a right-to-work state. Uh, Michigan's what's going on in Michigan. It has to be described as a renaissance. Yeah, i got to give credit a lot to Dan Gilbert, you know, the founder of Quicken, who's done a tremendous amount in that state and the governor over there that has done an unbelievable amount of work to get people over there and, uh, that state's done a huge turnaround, so we see a lot going to Michigan. So overall, it's, it's, it is impressive certain states that are willing to spend money and to create tax savings for people to to make that transition. And you know, being in California, hope hope, hope some that comes our way. And uh, with that, uh, what, what states do you think are in the biggest trouble when it comes to uh, their business environment? I'm, I'm sure California's got to be in that bottom five. Yeah, I would say California's the top. You know, being one of the highest, in, you know, uh, state income tax Working uh, is as helping. As you know, there's not just income tax issues. When you have other issues that regarding, um, you know, workers' compensation, HR, um, just how you deal with the um, all the rules that states impose on how you treat your labor force, uh, sometimes that makes it difficult. And so you have to factor in a variety of different reasons why you do business in a state. And then just the cost of living is another one that's material. Mm-hmm. So other you states that you see uh, might be struggling based labor. on other states that you see might be struggling based on your engagement with them. Uh, other states or, or California? Yeah, outside of California, what are some other states that that? Uh... I think you see some issues in Florida. Uh, sometimes you just see you know the labor force. You know, can they get the quality of labor um, that that will help fund their business and fuel it to the next level. It's a great state. You know, there's a lot of, still one of our largest that we finance, but in terms of acquiring, attracting quality talent, um, there's a lot of people from Florida that can move to New York or other uh, other states that offer, you know, in theory, more opportunity. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate the time. I appreciate the uh uh, insight. And I'm, I'm assuming most of the companies that you're involved in funding are small to middle-sized companies? Correct. Yeah. yeah our average revenue is about a million dollars in revenue. And we finance companies that are 250000 in revenue to $25 million. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we enjoy it. There you go. David Gilbert, nationalfunding.com. Thanks for being with us. Have a great day. You bet. When we come back, much more for you. Do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usadareview.com. While they're liking on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. And you're listening to The Price of Business.